Hey guys, Chris here from Cambio Cumbre. Thanks so much for tuning in to today. Look, really excited. We've got a jam-packed episode where we catch up with young, talented duo Liam Petley and Tylan Gardner, and we reflect back on their victorious JFAFL campaign in Melbourne. Uh, well, we were training every week really hard and uh, we really enjoyed it and um, yeah, it was just really hard training, just get prepared. Uh, my development, I've just improved dramatically because when I first joined I didn't know much about futsal but when I first when I started training more and more and more I've just improved and I really enjoyed it. Watch your adults in that play and you learn a lot from them so passing the ball and then moving into the, mid into the middle and then moving out to create space and just when to take on players down the line? Uh, yeah, it's much quicker in futsal and um, you, you got more of the ball in futsal so with outdoor you're, you're walking around without it a lot and but in futsal you're on it a lot, you've got to be focused and you've got to play quickly. In When I've been playing futsal the transition to outdoor gives you a lot more time on the ball and your skill moves and you improve dramatically. Uh, yeah, so our first game we had Pasco Val and we ended up beating them 4-1. It, it was a good game. Um, our second game, it was, um, we moved the ball pretty well but um, we were unlucky with the result, losing to Viewbank. And then we just got ready to prepare for our third game at the first day. So we had three games in the first day. It was pretty hard for us. So yeah, it was good though. Uh, yeah, when the way we were playing, we were like playing it around more. They were more direct, just going for the long ball to the target every time. But we'd play it from the back through to the flankers and then straight to the target. Yeah, um, we weren't rushing the ball forward. We are playing the ball at the back and waiting to space opens and playing the ball and counter-attacking. Uh, so yeah, in the semi-final we had Viewbank and we hadn't beaten them in the group stage at all. So we were like raring to go. We wanted to beat them and get in that final. We needed to win. And during the game, it was like a really physical game and we weren't going to back down from them and we ended up winning 4-3. We all wanted to beat Viewbank and we went into the semi-finals. Just, we wanted to beat them so bad and we played really good. They were they played like an outdoor team, we played like a futsal team and we were moving the ball around and we didn't give them any chances, we shut them down. Yeah, so it was a big jump from 14 to 16. Um, it's much more physical in the age group and um, Nesta helped us a lot. He, he taught us everything tactically physically to be smart, just positioning on the court, playing on the court, and just everything. I feel as if we, if we didn't have Nesta, we wouldn't be where we'd be right now. He's taught us so much in the last year. He's taught us how to play futsal, how to defend, how to attack, and he's pretty much taught us everything we know now. So after our semi-final, we only had like an hour and a half between the final. So we had a quick recovery time, went stretching, went back to the hotel, had a swim, had something to eat, and then we came back and just the crowd was massive and it was just really loud and we were just ready to go. Yeah, so after the final, it was a shock result because we didn't expect to win 7-1. We thought it would be a much tighter game because they're a great football side. But it was just an amazing feeling to beat them 7-1 and just win. Great. <laughs> I felt it was good to beat them and show we're not like little, we're big. And it represents Cambio Cumbre as a team and the club as well. Well, before the game, we were just we were sitting down for a warm up, and we were just looking at the crowd, and we we're like, oh, "Wow, this is big!" And we seen Rico and uh, Robbie warming up, and we we're like, "Let's do this!" So we went to the game. It was a really tough game. We ended up being down two or three nil, and just to come back and draw three three with them it was just amazing. Yeah, when I found out we we're playing Rico and Robbie, I thought this is going to be a good game. I knew they were two top players, probably hit in Australia at this time and I thought it was an absolutely amazing game just to come back and draw with them with two draft, two under 16s players playing. Mm -hmm. 